Hey everyone, I'm Josh from WPSculptor.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the global features included with the Divi theme. And this is something that can save you a tremendous amount of time as you develop and update your website. So what I'm going to do is create a section with these four blurb modules and this social media module. And I'll show you how to do that step by step. And then by making this section global, I can add it to other pages and it's going to show up exactly the same on all the other pages that I add it to. This way, if I want to make any changes to this global section, such as changing the icon color or some of the text, I can avoid the time consuming and repetitive process of opening up every single page containing the section and making the same change over and over again. So by using a global section, I only have to make the change once and it will be reflected across every page containing it. So we're logged into the back end of our WordPress site. The first thing I want to do is hover over pages and click on all pages. And I'm going to click on my home page to open that up in the page editor. Now, of course, we're using the Divi Builder and I cover the Divi Builder extensively in my full length tutorial. And you can access that by clicking the link in the video description below this video on YouTube. But I'm going to come down, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And the first thing I'm going to do here is create our new standard section that we're going to make global. And I do that by clicking on this add standard section text. And I want this section to be a four column layout. So I'm going to select this option here. And then the next thing I want to do is change the background color of our new section. And to do that, I'm going to first come up and open up the front end and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I want the background color to be the same color as this bottom bar. So I'm going to use the Colorzilla tool that I have for the Firefox browser. And I'll click on that to activate it. And then when I hover over this, I can click and it's going to copy this 171717 hex code. And I can go back to the back end. And to make my section that background color, I'm going to click on the section settings button here. And then next to background color, click on select color and I'll select what's there delete it and paste in that new hex code. Then click on save and exit. And then the next thing I want to do is click on insert modules here in the first column. And I'm going to find the blurb module and I'll select that. And for this first blurb title, I'm going to type in, give us a call. And I'll leave the URL blank because this particular blurb isn't going to link to anywhere else. And then for the icon, I'm going to change use icon to yes. And then I can come down and scroll down here and find the icon I want to use. It's going to be this telephone icon. And then I'll leave the icon color set to the green theme accent color that I have. And then for the image placement, I want this to be to the left, the icon placement. And for the icon animation, I'm going to change that to no animation. And I'll leave the text color dark because we're going to change that here in just a moment. And I'll leave the orientation set to the left. And then for the content, I'm going to type in the phone number. And this will this is what's going to appear below the blurb title. So I'll type that in. And then I'm going to click on the advanced design settings tab and next to header tech or uh, yeah, header text color. I'm going to click on choose custom color and click on select color. And then I'm going to go back to the front end of my site and get the, the green color hex code that I want. And it's going to be the same as these icons. So I'm going to click on the colorzilla eyedropper and then click on the color here and it's going to copy this hex code. Then I can go back to the back end and paste that in here. And then I'll scroll down. And the last thing I want to change here is the body text color. And this is where we typed in the phone number. It's going to be the text color for that section. So I'm going to click on choose custom color and select color. And remember that we are using a pretty dark, almost a black background color for our section. So this needs to be a light color. And I'm going to come up and select the straight white all the way in the upper left. And that's going to be the FFF. It's actually six Fs in a row, represents the white color. And I'm going to make that a little off white. So I'll drag this down to about there and click on save and exit. And the last thing I want to do here before I update the page is make this section global. So to do that, what I need to do is click on this section settings button here. And I'll scroll down and click on this save and add to library. And what I need to do is give it a name and I'm going to call this global test section. And then I'm going to check the box that says save as global and then click on save and add to library. And that's going to make this entire section global and that's represented by this lime green color. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to come up to the top and update the page. 
And now when I view the front end of my site and refresh the page and scroll down, of course, at the bottom, we're gonna have our new section. And here we have the icon, the blurb title, and the blurb content. So before I add the rest of the content to this new global section, I'm going to go ahead and add the global section to a couple of different pages. So to do that, I'll go back to the back end and I'll go to pages, click on all pages. And I'm going to add this to my about page and my our packages page. So first I'll open the about us page and then come down and I want it to be at the bottom of the about page. So what I'm going to do is click on add from library. Because we've saved the global module to our library, it's going to show up here. And remember, we called it the global test section. So we're going to click on that and it's just going to add it right away. So now we're going to update the page. And then we'll go back to pages, click on all pages, and we're going to open up our packages page. Click on that. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just come down to the bottom, click on add from library and we'll click on our global test section and it's gonna add it. And of course, by the way, you can always rearrange your global section if you wanted to by click holding and dragging, but I do want it to appear at the bottom. And then I'll click on update. All right, now to add the rest of the content to our section here and fill out these other columns, I wanna point out that we can edit this global section from any page that contains it. So we can edit it from the R packages page or we could go back to pages, all pages, and open up our home page or open up the about page. We can also go hover over Divi and we could click on the Divi library and I'll do that. And then it's also gonna show up here. And remember we called it global test section so I can click on that to open it up and I could edit it from this, this window right here. And anytime I make any edit to this global section, it's gonna be reflected across all the pages on the site that contain it. So what I'm gonna do is add another column here with another blurb module. So what I'm gonna do is click on this duplicate uh, or this clone module icon. And that's gonna make an identical copy of this first blurb module. So now I can click, hold and drag and place this in the second column and click on the module settings button and just change a few of these elements like the title and add a URL if I wanna to link to other pages and I'll change the icon and I'll change the content here for each of these other blurbs. There are gonna be three more blurbs since we have four total rows and I'll do that off camera for the sake of time. Okay, so now that I've cloned the blurb module three more times and changed some of the content settings, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and exit. And the last thing I need to do is add our social media module. So I'll add that here by clicking on insert module. And I'm gonna find the social media and click on that. And then all I need to do is add each of the social media networks that I want by clicking on add new social network. And I'll select the network from the list here. The first one will be Facebook. And for the account URL, this is where you would actually open up your Facebook page in a new window and you would copy the URL for your actual Facebook page and you would go back and you would paste that in. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna use the pound symbol and we'll click on save and then we'll add the other three social media networks and I'll add these other networks real quickly off camera. Then we'll click on save and exit and as soon as we update this global test section, we're gonna notice that when we view the front end of our site, all of these changes are gonna be reflected across every page that contains that global section. So on our homepage, if we scroll down to the bottom currently before we refresh, we've got it as it is there. And then when we refresh, notice that of course we have all of the updates. And if I open up the packages page, since I've added this global module to the packages page, you see it there and it's all updated. And if I open the about page, you'll see it all updated. So it's it, just a really wonderful feature. The global feature is just fantastic for saving you a lot of time. And uh, just for the final example, if I wanted to change the phone number, I only have to do that once, of course, and I could do that by going back to the back end. And uh, of course, we're on the Divi, Divi library page, and we've got the global test section opened up here. But if I was on one of the pages that has the global section, I'll just open up my About Us page because it has the global section. I could edit it from here and notice that it's completely up to date. If I wanted to change the phone number for this first blurb, I could click on the, the module settings and scroll down. And I'm gonna change the last four digits. Click on Save and Exit. And now when I refresh the page, or update the page rather, in view the front end, and of course we're on the About page, and when I refresh, Notice that the last four digits of the phone number change 
And when I open up the packages page, because we have the global section added there, notice that that update takes place and also on the home page. We've got that and we only had to make that change one time. So you can see that using global sections is a very efficient way to manage your website. If you had dozens of pages that had this same section, instead of having to make dozens of changes to every single page, you just have to do it once and it's gonna be reflected across every page with that global section. Okay, that concludes this video tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please take a second to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can learn how to make the exact website that I used in this tutorial by clicking on the video link here, and you can check out the Divi theme through my affiliate link, wpsculptor.com forward slash Divi. And if you decide to purchase the Divi theme through my link, I would get a commission. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I'll see you soon.